Dear black churches, I'm not talking about all of you guys, but some of y'all, when are we gonna stop letting the Democratic Party and their politicians make complete asses out of us? Every time they screw up, guess who comes to their rescue? The black church. And this has been happening since I was seven years old. I remember being a young seven-year-old in my church in Long Beach. And I remember this Democratic Long Beach politician coming in and he started speaking in a Southern draw and he took off his shoes. I'll never forget that. I'll never forget my dad was so pissed off. Took off his shoes and on the bottom of his shoes, it shows there was holes in his shoes. He said, say, look, I'm just like you. I've been marching and fighting for justice just like you. Look, there's holes in my shoes. I'm broke just like you. And we all looked at him. This man ain't seen a broke day in years. But most of the church, because he's a Democrat, they started clapping, right? And I'm sure they voted for him. Years later, Jimmy Carter. Jimmy Carter effed up. He was pandering to a segregationist, one of the last of the Dixiecrats who was a governor. And this governor believed in segregation long after segregation was done with. And Carter tailored his language to pander to Dixiecrats because he wanted their votes. Like I said, Democrats are chameleons. They'll say whatever to whoever. And this caused a lot of backlash. True story. And guess who came to save Jimmy Carter when his campaign was spiraling as a result of that? The black church. Dr. Martin Luther King's father pulled Jimmy Carter up on the pulpit and said, hey, he's a Democrat. Forgive him. He messed up. Give old Jimmy Carter another chance. And guess what the black church did? We started clapping, singing, and dancing. And guess what? He became the president. And what the hell did we get out of Jimmy Carter? Inflation. We got absolutely nothing out of Jimmy Carter. He did nothing for our community. Fast forward to old Hillary Clinton, hot sauce Hillary. Right, remember she stood up in front of a church and said, I don't feel no ways tired. We started clapping. And she almost got elected. Thank God she didn't. Thank God she didn't. That Gavin Newsom, I remember he came to my church about seven or eight years ago when he was running for governor. And he stood up in there. This is a man who is not a fan of Christians. He's not a Christian at all. And he is not a fan of Christians. This is a fact. This is a man who, when Christian churches were being disrupted and they asked him what he was going to do about it on camera, he smirked and walked away. This man is not a fan of Christians, but yet he was allowed in our church to stand at our pulpit and quote Bible verses to us about tolerance. And two days later on a radio show, on a podcast, I think, I'll never forget it. He's being interviewed and he's bashing Christians two days after he stood at our pulpit and was preaching to us about tolerance. I'll never forget that. One of the most offensive days of my life as a Christian. Old Joe Biden, when he's running for office, he goes to the back black church and all of a sudden, boy, I know what his people tell him. Oh, these are black people. These are black people. You know, you got to bring the passion. These ninjas like passion, right? And he starts preaching with fire and brimstone and he's yelling, right? Remember, they're going to put us back in chains, right? And we just start clapping. And we just embrace him. And we vote for him. What do we get out of Joe Biden? nothing not a damn thing now we got old kamala harris she effed up a couple days ago somebody yelled crisis king at a one of her rallies and of course it could have been an innocent mistake or a spur of the moment thing but she said you're at the wrong rally and she might not have meant nothing by it but guess what her people did oh you're in trouble got to go to the black church they'll save you and she walked into a church of a pastor who in my opinion should never be pastoring anybody with his thousand dollar suits and multiple, multiple counts of adultery against him. He shouldn't be pastoring anybody's church. But she walks in there and everybody's singing and dancing and that's all she has to do. And the black church saves her again. I'm sick and tired of it. At some point, some of y'all churches out there, we have to stop letting these people make complete fools out of us. We have to stop saving them. Oh, we can try to save their souls, but we don't have to save their campaigns. They're showing you who they are. We, we got to stop falling for these damn chameleons who are whatever they need to be when they need to be it, but they don't mean any of it because I don't think Kamala Harris has stepped foot in a church in her entire life. Wake up.